hello everyone welcome back to our channel thanks for coming out here this is peak network we are here to keep you updated with the latest and authentic um, happenings in our country and nigeria i want to say a big thank you to everyone that have subscribed thank you for supporting our channel we really do appreciate you and um, the news i'm reaching our decks today is that uh, there's disagreement between the sultan and um, the northern governors let's recall that um, the, the northern governors had um, a, a misunderstanding recently about the amajiris being sent to different states now they are having a misunderstanding again over um how the weekend um idri fitri um Ide fitri prayers should be held let um also um um the governor of Kanu State gave some orders, but it looks like the Sultan is not okay with that. And uh, there's been some disagreement and misunderstanding regarding that. We will go straight into the content. But before we do, please, if you haven't yet subscribed to our channel, do click on the subscribe button down below. And also do give us a thumbs up, hit on the like button. We really do appreciate you. Thank you once again for supporting us. All right, so let's go straight um, into the content um, of the news disagreement between sultan and governors over how weekend eid fitril prayers should be held there is disagreement between sultan of sokoto and some state governors in the north about how idri fitril prayers should be held at weekends sultan said abubakar president general of the nigerian supreme council for islamic affairs nscia has issued a directive that Muslims should observe the prayers at home as part of the co their compliance with the COVID-19 protocols and prevent the spread of the virus. But some of the northern governors eased the lockdown to allow Muslims to perform congregational prayers. Earlier in the week, Kano State Governor Abdullahi Ganduje announced that Muslims should be allowed to observe Friday Jamaat Eid prayers. Bauchi State Governor Bala Mohammed announced on Wednesday that Eid prayers should be allowed in the state and participants should observe social distance and wearing face masks. Other states have also opened mocks such as Yobe, Jigawa, Gombe, Bornu, and Zamfara. In a statement on Wednesday, NSCIA Deputy Secretary General Professor Salisu Sheu said, as the month of Ramadan is gradually coming back to an end and Eid Fitril is approaching, it is crucial to reiterate that every traditional has become abnormal, including social gathering and mass congregational prayers. Therefore, Muslims are to perform their Eid prayers while still taking necessary safety measures regarding compulsory face masks and social distancing it is even advisable to avoid massive gatherings in such places at one eat ground in a large town must be avoided instead the eat should be carried out in an area mocks to avoid unmanageable crowd nevertheless in places where the ban on large congregational prayers and social religious gathering is still in force, Muslims should abide by the law while appreciating the intention to supersede actions. Eid Fitri means the one month Ramadan fasting is over. The prayers are likely to be held on Saturday or Sunday, depending on the sighting of the Shawal month. So my people, that's the news reaching us. Um, it's not the first time that the Northern governors are having um they are having different opinions and having contra giving contradicting um instructions um to their the, the people of their state we can see that um some states have eased the lockdown some are not um easing the lockdown ganduje earlier this week that's um the governor of kanu state announced that muslims should be allowed just to observe the friday one the friday prayers but we remember that initially when this covid 19 broke out um ganduje was one of the governors um that did not take this um this um social distancing seriously they i don't think they believe that anything like um coronavirus existed that was why after a while there was a mysterious death in kanu state and still at that, Ganduje did not even admit that um, they were actually COVID-19 related. 
He just stated, he came out to state that those deaths were not actually COVID-19 related. But when the death be became um, very um, uh, um, large, the number increased dramatically. That was when he started looking deep into this and he discovered that in the first place, there was even no functional NCDC in Kanu State. That was quite shocking. And um, he started the lockdown and he started educating um, the citizens, the people there to um, social distance, to practice social distancing and uh, washing of their hands and the hygiene and all of that. So he has put, there's been lockdown in Kanu State, but right now he stated that uh, um, just for Friday, there should be prayers. But some other states, um, they are not looking at it that way. Some other northern states, that's what's causing this disagreement. We know also like the Amajiris that brought disagreement the last time where um, the um, 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 Kanu State Governor as well, Ganduja and um, Irufai, they had a, a word of, it was a word of battle between themselves stating that um, you are bringing Amajiris into my state that are positive as well. So you have to take some because that's what we agreed at the Northern um, Governors Forum. That was what they agreed that all the Amajiris should go back to their state of origin. But these guys, what they need to do, they need to um, come together in one voice to see that this coronavirus is real. Um, all con The thing is that it has to do with a congregation. A congregation, people will be packed and um, it can aid the spread of this coronavirus. We're trying to combat this thing. We're trying to reduce the spread and everything. And um, the, the Sultan, Sultan um, of Sokoto is saying is saying that um, people should pray at home. I mean, this guy is saying the right thing. People can still pray at home, but Ganduje, some other governors, they don't feel the same way. They don't share in that um, light. They feel that that's, maybe their prayers will not be heard. But the Sultan of Sokoto is saying the right thing. We know of how many emirs that have died to this COVID-19, even from Kanu State. Ganduje should know better. In Kanu State, we lost the Emir of Rano as well. He was taken to um, Aminu Kanu Teaching Hospital, one of the best hospitals in Kanu State. But unfortunately, there was no oxygen there and he had to be transferred to Nasarawa. That was how he suddenly, uh, sadly passed away. Right now, um, the Sultan of Sokoto is saying something really, uh, really, really serious and important. And also following the directive from the federal government as well. There's still a ban of large gathering. The ban is still on. It has not been lifted and it will not do anyone good. If people gather together again like that in their scores in mass like that, there is no way this, this thing will not spread. So they are trying to reduce all of that, save lives, save families, and um, save our community as well. So Sultan of Sokoto have stated here that um, everyone make your prayers at home, but some other governors, they are not looking at it that way. We don't know where this is going to end. We know that um, the prayer system, today is already um, Thursday. It's over the weekend now, so we don't know who are they going to follow, but we governor um stated something else as well and uh, and other states as well they are op they've opened their mocks as well we know of him you'll be um jigawa gombe bernu and um, zamfara they've opened their mocks and for for if it's open that means you're telling the people to come and the truth is, it's not everyone that will obey all of those social distancing. Not everyone will put on masks. Still to date, not, I, the truth is not everyone still believes that um, coronavirus exists. Some persons still need to be um, re-educated and reoriented about all of this. So they still don't believe. And we know the north, northern part of the country, they are really populated. Kano is one of the most populous states in the country. So... I hope these guys, they do the right thing to save our country, save our nation, because right now they are the ones not even observing all of this, um, uh, uh, all of the protocols. They are not observing it. At the end of the day, they keep shipping their margaries. They will ship them to other states. Whether they are doing that on a purpose, they have a mission for that. Who knows? We don't know. But we just hope that they will do the right thing and they, um, practice social distancing and keep themselves safe and keep um, the lives of other safe as, as well. So my people, that's the news I'm reaching us. Uh, do leave your take. Leave your comments down below in the comment section. Want to take this time to say thank you once again to everyone that has subscribed. Please, if you haven't yet subscribed, click on the subscribe button down below. And don't forget to give us a thumbs up, hit on the like button. We say thank you once again till I come your way again. It's bye for now and God bless.